This looks so good. Like, ah, I am loving it. Yeah. What up, Wagwan? At to say, it's your girl Mina. In this video, we are doing a very easy, natural, and glam makeup tutorial. This video is sponsored by The Lip Bar. Love to hear it, love to see it. Now this video is gonna be perfect for those of you who love a very easy, quick, simple, everyday kind of look. You know your girl loves the dramatics. I love to do all the layers and all the things when I do my makeup, but this will be perfect if you're trying to really get out of the door quickly. We're not gonna to use too many products. I'm gonna go through the bundles that the lip bar has provided me with to really get the perfect look that is really just for every single day, okay? And then we are going to transition that look from a natural daytime look to a glam look for the evening, honey. So if you are excited, then I want you to keep on watching. So in true natural fashion, we are in front of my living room window. So natural lighting is here for the kid and we're gonna give you this natural beat, okay? So first up, we have the Easy Beauty Bundle and we have the tinted skin conditioner and I'm using the color Cocoa Bean. Then we have the Caffeine Concealer and I'm going to be using two colors, Mocha and Cinnamon. Then we've got the Minute Finish Face Palette, baby. So so what I love about this is that you have your face powder in here, blush, highlight, and contour, okay? We're gonna go through all of that. Then we have the Exact Arch Brow Pencil. Then I'm going to use the matte liquid lipstick that you know I love, and the color is Savage. And also this Lip Bar Gloss in the color Extra. And then we have another bundle. This is the Everyday Eye Bundle. We've got the eyeshadow palette of your choice. And so if you are to pick up this bundle, you can choose which eyeshadow palette you want to be in your bundle. This one is the brown bombshell eyeshadow palette. Then you have the Lash Flash Mascara and the Exact Arch Brow Pencil is in this bundle as well. Then we have the Straight Out of Patience Eyeliner, which you know I've used time and time again, love that. And the Double Duty Brush Set. Okay, so if you've been here for a while, you know that I've already used this Lip Bar Just a Tint 3-in-1 Tinted Skin Conditioner and I loved it. This does have hyaluronic acid in it and SPF. I have, of course, done my skincare. Make sure you do that regardless of what products you're using using, but it doesn't hurt to have extra SPF in the actual complexion product that you're going to use. All right, I'm going to put Cocoa Bean right on my face because like, why not? So I'm not gonna prime my face because if you're doing this in a rush, who has time for primer, you know? You want this to be simple, easy, achievable for every day. You don't want it to feel like it's gonna take you forever. It's gonna include mad steps. You wanna get this done and done, okay? Now I'm gonna use the face brush. One side is for foundation, one side is for concealer. So on the foundation side, which I like because it's giving flat kabuki. Look at that. Now this is a little bit darker than my skin, which you know I love because when I contour, it's gonna be nice and light and beautiful. Now look at how you can still see my skin through the product. Do you see that? But you're still getting coverage too, which I like. Mm, 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 mm. Now you know I, I've come a long way when it comes to the natural everyday get up and go makeup, but again, if you've been here for a while, then you've seen me try a number of skin tint products and this is one of them that I have really been enjoying. Look at the dew, not overly done, but definitely there. <laughs> I like how dark this is. I obviously could have gone lighter, but why? Because I really, I love the way everything looks once I highlight. Now, you know the brows are microbladed. <laughs> we are gonna go over them because we're gonna shape them. Now, this is a skin tint, so I am going to bring it a little bit close to my hairline, but if you were using something full coverage, certainly you wanna avoid doing that. Just don't want there to be any harsh lines around my eyes. You know what? I was gonna ignore the eyelid, but come on, son. Let's just go over the eyelid a little bit. <laughs> so just with leftover on the brush, not a lot, okay? Yes, I mean, my skin already looks Looks so good, so hydrated. Comment and let me know what you're thinking about the complexion already. What's it looking like right now? Let me know in the comments, okay? Now with this concealer, this is the Lip Bar Quick Conceal Caffeine Concealer. Now this is a natural look, okay? This is not, and I know this, this is not my full coverage huge, but again, for you wanting to get a natural, everyday, quick, out the door, easy to do, don't take too much. You're not a makeup artist, but you wanna look great on a daily basis. Why not go ahead and opt for this easy beauty bundle because it has in it what you need. This is the color mocha. 
All right, now, now I'm gonna use this brush to show you just so that if you are the kind of person who's like, I, I can't just, I can't deal with all these extra products. I just need this to be very easy. I'm gonna show you how to use this dual sided brush to achieve this natural look. So on the other side of it, you have the concealer side. This is really nice to use right here, close to the eye. And then as you saw, I'm going to use the other side of this brush to spread out everything else. To me, the brush use is determined by the area that you're using the brush. So because I wanna get right up in here under the eyelid, using this small part is perfect. Then when I wanna blend everything else, flip it over and go right here. Now I'm not trying to sheer out the coverage of this concealer because I really want it to show. So I am blending the, in the outer part of the concealer so that there are no lines of what? Demarcation, okay? But I'm not gonna go on top of it because it's already in place. What more is there to do? Not much, okay? Got it where you want it to be. Just leave it there. And I'm blending around to ensure that there are no harsh lines. Now this is fun to me because this is not, you know, I usually will jump in with a sponge and all of this, but if you are in a rush, and again, if you're a beginner, you just want things to be easy, you don't want all the extra, this is really good. Now look at that, okay? I, of course, could take this down more. Let me take it down more. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take it down more. <laughs> I'm gonna just add a little more to highlight down here. And as you can see, I'm taking the side that I was using for the foundation to do that because we are doing what? We are using one product in more than one way to make this what? Easy for you, okay? All right, now that's giving me what I need right there, okay? So I actually didn't even have to use cinnamon. Ah, I was going to, but I'll just stick with mocha for this very natural look, okay? Now I am gonna go down the middle of my face to give it an extra highlight, but if you ain't got that kind of time, baby, go ahead and skip this part. But if you do, let's get this part going, okay? I'm gonna use the flat kabuki side, the foundation side, to just cover a large area quickly, you know? Let me listen to the forehead and focusing around the harsh lines so that they're no longer there. <laughs> okay. And let's get that all around or whatever. White off the excess on the brush on the paper towel in front of me to ensure that now when I go back in I am blending and not actually adding coverage to my face. Now I am going to take this concealer side and then blend right down the middle of my face. And now I wiped off the foundation side and I'm going to blend on the sides up and down. Blending it into the forehead. Do you see that? We're looking real dewy, we're looking real good, okay? And now, okay, now taking the Minute Finish Face Palette, and this is Vogue. I'm gonna use the face powder right here with this face brush, and this is the powder side of it. Tapping off the excess or whatever. Now let me just make sure that there are no harsh lines using this concealer part to get where? Right here underneath the eye. It makes it so easy for you. Make sure that you are keeping your eyes like this, a little bit like that. <laughs> and then let's set this down. Now you can set this very lightly or you can do so in a heavy manner to give you more coverage. It really is up to you. But I'm liking how this looks. It's not too powdery. It's still looking dewy if you can see, but it looks so good. I'm gonna go ahead and set all over. And I'm gonna set everywhere that I have the highlight. Now I'm gonna just take the powder and go under here. I didn't do it with the highlighter, but look at that. It's still giving me a little bit of an under the cheek highlight, okay. Okay, now in the same palette, I'm gonna contour using the color Twirl, which is right down here. And I'm gonna use that same powder side, tapping some, tapping off the excess. And now I'm doing this in a very padded motion fashion because I want the contour to be subtle and not too, not too dark, okay? Get it into the hairline because that is a must, honey. You want it to look natural. This is a good color. They're still looking very dewy. Ooh, come on. Yes, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Comment below and let me know what you're thinking about that. Okay, and then this is a little advanced, okay? But I'm, I'm not gonna pinch. I know that I have a little bit of powder toward the pointy part of this brush and I'm just gonna go right here on the side. I'm not gonna press too much. Just right here on the side. You feel what I'm saying? Just to get that back where it need to be, okay? And now for blush, I flipped over this brush and I'm gonna take the blush in 
this minute finish face palette. You could really do this fast, but because I'm explaining it to you, it's taking me some time, okay? And very lightly going backwards, starting at the apple of the cheek, but be careful because you want your makeup to look natural. You don't want to press on the blush too harshly right off the bat. You feel what I'm saying? And what I love about this part of the brush is that it's a stippling brush. So you got the darkness at the bottom where it's black and then it goes to be less dense where it's white. It's a stippling brush and it's great to give you a very natural application. Just lightly dusting that and going backwards. Yo, I have not even put on a highlighter and I already look so good. Hi. I don't even know if I wanna even use the highlighter that's in the palette. Like, I'm just saying, I wanna show it to you. Let me let me stop. I wanna show it to you, you feel what I'm saying? But I wouldn't even call it a must. It's right here. I would not even call it a must because my skin looks so good with just the product, but let's do it. I'm gonna clean off the stippling side of it to then use the highlighter. I don't want to put the blush where I highlight, hello. Okay, 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 now we have a clean brush and tapping in here, get some of this product. Tap off the excess, come on son, right up here in the high points of the cheek. All right, and just lightly dust that. Do we see? Very lightly, you wanna get that. This is looking really, really good. Oh, I don't even have to do too much. Like, babe, look at that. Whoa, come on, little boy. Now, okay, let me just show you the right way. I don't want you to go out here and be adventurous and it's all a mess. You really should pinch this. I was gonna just figure it out. Let me help you out a little second, okay? Pinch this and look at the, look at the nose. Girl, mm. go ahead and pinch it again. Let's just go a little bit more because I really want to see it. Mm -hmm. And right here in the chin. Now, I like to go right here versus right here, right there, baby. Oh, I'm wiping off the excess to now blend and not apply anymore, boo-boo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Now let's go ahead and get these brows together, honey. This is the Exact Arch Micro Brow Pencil. I'm using the color black brown because uh -huh, that's what I need, you know what I'm saying? One side of it does have this spoolie, love to see it. So I'm brushing up my brows. Now you may have such full brows that you ain't even gotta do all of this, but if you don't, let's get into the brows real quick. You know I did microblading, but it, it do be needing a little bit of a Filling, okay? Now for this look, I am literally filling in the micro bleated brow. I'm not doing my makeup brow because it's a very natural look and I like how this looks so much. It's not gonna be the dark, highly arched brow that you may be familiar with. And this still looks so good. And I'm filling this in ever so lightly. Do these brows look good or what? I'm just saying like, you gotta let me know something. You gotta let me know. Cause if you don't, you're playing yourself. Go ahead and let me know if these brows look amazing because I am just all over it. Now, let's let's highlight our inner eye tear duct because why not? And I'm gonna take my finger and do this. Just a little bit of product on the tip of the finger. Now that it's placed, let's clean the finger and blend. And we're patting it in to blend because the face is still creamy, okay? It's not all the way matted down, although you could do that if you want to. The face is still creamy, so we don't want to be wiping anything off by wiping off the inner eye tear duct, okay? But just look at how much that just opens up the eye, baby. Oh, wait, I didn't set above my eyelid, so let's do that to avoid creasing. And look, we ain't even highlighting a brow bone, okay? This looks so good. Like. I am loving it, yeah. Okay, let's do our lip, honey. Now you know, you know if you've been here for a while, you already know the girl loves her some lip bar, matte looking lipstick in the color Savage, honey. And so here goes Savage, and I'm gonna use this as a lip liner. But of course, go ahead and use the little lip if you if you if you're feeling the vibe, okay? And then just blot that in a little bit so that it's not such a harsh lip line, okay? And then we have a lip bar gloss, and this is the color extra, 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 baby, baby girl. What are we thinking about this natural look, honey? I am loving it. If it's not already obvious, you know. Comment, let me know what you think about this natural aspect of the look. And now let's go ahead and glam this up a little bit, just a little bit. 
nothing too big, nothing too crazy. So, you know, just a little tinge. Okay, so now let's say you're back home from work or whatever it is, and you want to take this natural look into something more glam. Turn up a few notches, if you know what I'm saying. Go ahead and take your eyeshadow palette that you choose to go into your everyday eye bundle. And this one, like I said, is the brown bombshell eyeshadow palette. And let's go ahead and apply this. Now, I know many of y'all, when you're in a rush, you're not using eyeshadow primer, so let's do this look without that, okay? Let me go on the eyelid first, using the color Toast right here is the lighter color. Let's open up the eye with Toast. Okay, now looking down to apply Toast so that it does not get on our face, all right? Always tapping off the excess. Right now I'm using the dual-sided eyeshadow brush to apply this eyeshadow. Now see how that just opened up the eyes a little bit? Let's use, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use the same side. This is Blend, and I'm going to take the dark brown color in here, and this is called Cinnamon. Right here in the crease, find your crease by pushing your brush in to find the space between your brow bone and your eyeball. Now the color Cinnamon in this eyeshadow palette is not dark enough for my skin tone, to deepen out the crease how I want it to. So, so I'm using the Minute Finish Face Palette and this is the contour color Twirl and I'm using that to go right inside my crease. Still not gonna be anything that's overly dramatic. All right, so I want that to be deepened a little bit. It's not gonna be anything too dramatic, but enough to feel like, you know, you put on some eyeshadow. Taking some product, always tapping off the excess. Okay, still giving natural, but definitely giving more of a glam version of the natural look that we already did. Now, you know, I've used this before. This is the Straight Outta Patience Smudge Proof Eyeliner. This is so soft and creamy. Let's take some of this and we're gonna do a smudged eyeliner look. Now this is really, really black, which is great. I'm gonna go easy as I'm applying this because baby, I wanna smudge it. We're not doing any kind of wing. This is the brow dual-sided brush, one is for the spoolie. I'm gonna use the slanted side to smudge out my eyeliner. See that? Very simple, okay? As you can see, I'm using it with the angle to go this way, then turning it to go in toward the eye, okay? This eyeliner is so dark and pigmented, I love it. Already the look is like, already turned up a little bit, hi! I almost forgot bottom eyeliner, hold on. Same one, back of the actual cap of this eyeliner liner to isolate out my eye and put this right up in here. I love a good dark black waterline. Look at that difference. And we still have that inner eye teared up from earlier, so it's still doing something for the kid, okay? And now this is the Lash Flash Strengthening Mascara with Green Tea Extract. Let's go ahead and get some of this on. We are gonna do top and bottom. You could of course just do top and leave it. Comment below and let me know if you use any of these products, but also if you put mascara on the bottom lash or do you just do the top? I wanna know. Honestly, even this is looking so good to me because we have taken it up a little bit from the natural look. But now I'm gonna take off this lip and then apply this one called Boss Lady. It's a beautiful red. And you can of course choose any of the lip bars, liquid lipsticks to add to the Easy Beauty Bundle of your choice. Okay, let's apply this fast. Okay. Look at how red that is. Girl, it's giving boss lady, boss baby, if you ask me. I love this lip. I have never tried it. I don't know where I've been, but now I have arrived. I have. So I want you to come in and let me know which of these two versions of the look that you like. Do you like the natural makeup or do you like this? Glam makeup girl, let me know which one is your fave. And of course, all the links to products are gonna be in my description box below, so check that out. Subscribe to my channel. Also, give the video a thumbs up. Watch some more videos because there's always more where this comes from. And as always, I'm glad you watch my videos, especially this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.